Hey, Cody, I'm glad you made it back for your second visit. I hear your first visit went really well. Um, from what I've been told, the lower back pain that you've had for two years um, with very little help of improvement, we did get some improvement after the initial visit. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to spend just a few minutes going over what our immediate plans are and what our future plans are to help treat your lower back. So first and foremost, we examined your lower back on the first visit and we found uh, in addition to that lower back portion, especially the right side, in addition to those muscles being really tight and really tender, we found what we'll call in our business a chiropractic subluxation uh, or a spinal misalignment. So what that means for, for you and me in English is, you know, if we look at our spine as it goes from the head down towards literally our tailbone, this lower back portion, specifically the L4 and the L5, in your case, were somewhat out of position. Much like if I took one of your fingers and I pulled it out of joint, what that's going to do is it's going to create some local pain. Um, in the lower back situation, you're going to find those muscles that surround the joint are going to kind of get really tight and, and uh, very temperamental and very tender. Um, uh, other things we found when we did our examination, in addition to the misalignment and the tight muscles on that right-hand side, we found some weakness on the left-hand side of those muscles. So. I guess to make the best sense of this, if I told you that these little bony segments should be held in place, and oftentimes they're held in place by the muscles that surround them. So if we think about these vertebrae being held in place kind of by a, a, a band of muscles that are playing tug of war, the right-hand sided muscles are pulling the bones to the right, the left-hand muscles are pulling the bones to the left. And in your case, the right-handed muscles are winning this fight. They're going to constantly stay in spasm the way things are now, and they're going to continue to pull that bone out of place. So what our hope is with the treatment is between the adjustments and other treatments we're going to do to relax these right-sided muscles, we're going to see if that can help stabilize this segment. Um, another form of treatment we might do, if we uh, again use that same analogy for this tug of war, is if one side of the tug of war is pulling a little harder than the other side, in addition to calming this right side down if we strengthen the opposing side. So part of our treatment is going to include some exercises to help balance out that tug of war, if you will. So we're going to get right to our uh, prescription for you. And in this prescription, Cody, we have this pretty straightforward where part of our treatment and probably the most important part of our treatment is our chiropractic adjustment to that lower back portion. Um, it says it right over here, the chiropractic is going to be our first treatment. Um, in addition to the chiropractic portion, we're going to be doing certain exercises and certain therapies that are going to help loosen up those tight, uh, hyperactive muscles on that right side of your lower back. And these are going to include things like ischemic compression, uh, something equivalent to a sports massage. We can apply other things like stretches, maybe some uh, uh, local uh, hot packs, maybe electric stim. Now, on the other side of the tug of war in that lower back, we're going to be recommending and watching you perform some corrective exercises. And the reason we're going to do these is see if we can get that left-hand side of your back to help stabilize itself so that vertebrae doesn't keep misaligning. misaligning I'm sorry. Um, our recommended treatment plan for you initially is going to be three times a week for the first three weeks. Now, this isn't saying you're going to be cured in three weeks, but this is going to give us a trial period for just three weeks to see if what we're doing is effective. Um, we should, after three weeks, have some idea on the effectiveness of what we're doing. Um, after three weeks, we'll reassess on whether we need to see you once a week or twice a week or whether we're done with the care plan whatsoever. Now, uh, to make this a little more clear, um, we have our little nerve chart and a little packet we're giving you, and I highlighted the areas that we found misaligned with you, and that would include our L4, L5 segments, and we also had a C6 seg uh, segments, um, and this C6 and C7 segments are going to affect that secondary problem you had, and that's going to be the upper back and between the shoulders. Um, we're going to be treating that upper back and the shoulders and the C6 much the same as we were the lower back, uh, with therapies including the stretches and the exercises and the adjustments. Um, in addition, the last thing we're going to give you on our final visit is going to be uh, the exercises and the stretches that we talked about on this little page right here. Um, now, Cody, did you have questions before we, we finish up and I get you scheduled with our front desk? No? Well, I appreciate it. And again, just to refresh, we'll uh, expect to see you in a couple of days. We'll be seeing a lot of uh, each other over the next three weeks. 
Um, but I'm very confident at the end of three weeks, we're going to have the situation. Um, the treatment's going to be very clear and we should find a very effective treatment plan for you over the next three weeks.